Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Today I'm going to feature another guitar from Fender Japan. This is the Fender Japan International Color Stratocaster in Morocco Red.
If you're new to this channel, we just want to subscribe to this channel and press the bell for notification of future videos to follow and be part of the patrons to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I want to thank Ben uh, from Sweetie for passing me this guitar for review. Okay, what caught my eye was a series of color that has been represented in this series from Fender Japan. <clears throat> so this is a Fender Japan International Color. Well, years ago, Fender actually came up with a assortment of colors. Uh, we're talking about Fender USA, where it features international colors like, you know, Morocco Red, Caprice for the French, and, and certain stuff like yellow for Brazil, I think. I'm not too sure about green for the Irish. Yeah. Anyway. They are trying to revive that uh, that period of time, so they just uh, released this uh, uh, series that is called the Fender Japan International Color. Now it features a lot of um, of styling that's from the 70s and 80s, as you can see the the big headstock, even the serial number on the headstock, which you don't see it in 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 recent uh, iterations of Fender Stratocasters, and of course the. Um, the, the nice fonts and all that. So these are re very reminiscent of uh, the strats in the 70s and in the 80s. And I, I think they are beautiful, they are wonderful. Anyway, let, let's just go through the appointments. So it features basswood for its body, really nice Morocco uh, gloss polyester finish, really, really attractive. Um, you have a nice maple neck, right? Rosewood fretboard with a fret radius of 9.5 inch. You have jumbo frets. Now it features a bone nut with a nut width of 41 mm. You also have the fender tuners with the F stem on it. And then you have uh, two string trees with a truss row adjustment that protrudes out. I like those because it's easy for your tools. Well, easy access for your tools. You have a U-shaped neck, really comfortable. I love the U-shaped neck on the Strat. I just find that it's really stable. And uh, coupled with the 9.5 fret radius, you know, it makes fretting a whole lot easier. And then you have the body. You have a three ply white pick guard with five way pickup selector, switch, one volume, two tones, and a six screw synchronized uh, tremolo bridge. It also features a vintage style single coil uh, for a pickup for the neck as well as for the middle and the bridge position. And you have a skunk stripe in the back. All right. and that's it. Pretty nice. Uh, I, I just like this color. Um, well, actually, I prefer the Capri. Uh, it's kind of an orangey kind of flavor. Uh, but they sent me this, or rather, I, I, I got this instead. So this is really nice. Again, I want to thank Sweetie for passing me this guitar for review. Um, not expensive. Uh, and looking at the womanship, yeah. It's really worth the price. Uh, rosewood neck, again, you know, nice headstock. I love this headstock because it plays a part in the tone. And, okay, so the pickups. Now, these are the vintage style Stratocaster pickups and really nice uh, traditional sounding uh, Strat pickups. Uh, of course, you will have this 50 cycle hum or a bridge pickup, but if you are if you're using this as primary as a Strat guitar, nice. Um, with a little bit of gain on the, uh, or rather overdrive, or if you're going to overdrive your amp with the bridge pickup, you're going to have a whole lot of noise and some howling sometimes. But it can be controlled depending on what you use. You know, I, I don't know what you use at home, but it can be controlled. Um, all in all, lovely set of pickups, really nice, uh, warm sounding, especially for the for the neck. I find the, the, the next neck pickup is really warm sounding with a lot of depth. Interesting, interesting, interesting guitar. Maybe it's a combination of the neck, the headstock, um, the rosewood fretboard, and the pickups. This is one of the more uh, warm sounding uh, Stratocaster that I've ever played. Now, mind you, it has the sparkle, it has the chime, it has the spank that you expect from a Stratocaster. It does deliver that. But somehow it has that, the depth, the weight. You know. Lovely guitar. Right, let me know what you think about this guitar and leave your comments in the comment section down below. I want to hear from you. Now this guitar, because of its characteristics and its uh, appointments, uh, they were a limited run in 2022. So you're not going to find a lot of this hanging around. 
If you're in Singapore, pop on down to Sweden and give this a try. Guitar is available there. I think there's other colors there, if I'm not mistaken. And if you're not in Singapore, you might just want to email Sweetie and uh, find out how you can procure this guitar. Alright? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Press that bell for notification of future videos to follow and be part of the patrons to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I need your support. I thank all my patrons for the wonderful support. Thank you so much, guys. So in the meantime, take care of yourself and I'll see you real soon. Sayonara. Thank you.